if I ask you to model this image, you might fear of the complexity, question your design approach or even doubting yourself. But what if I told you that with my 4 simple step, you can model anything in Blender? Yes, anything. Hi, I'm Jack, a hot surface artist in Blender and I'll guide you through the 4 key strategy to contour hot surface modeling. Put your screen in full view, sit back and watch it until the end. Step number 1. Identify the overall shape. Look at your reference image but ignore the details. Focus on the structure. For example, in this image, it has two cylinders on the top, two modified cubes for the body with few cuts and bevel, a bent cube for the ammunition magazine and finally another cube for the rear grip. By breaking down complex design into simple shapes, you will unlock the foundation of hot surface modeling. When approaching any model, change your perspective. Focus on the underlying shapes. Break down complex design into a simple form. For clarity, sketch the rough model on paper, ignore the detail, capture the raw shape. If you are still confused, don't worry, let's put this concept into practice. Imagine you are modeling a robot from a reference image. At first glance, the arm looks complicated. It's a cylinder with extrusion, bevel, wiring and small attachment pots. But in the blackout stage, we don't have to worry about all those details. We simplify. The arm becomes just a cylinder. Maybe if you want, you can just slightly adjust the shape or even use bevel modifier. We apply the same approach to the entire model. Remember, this is just a starting point. We'll add details later. Now that we have our block code shape, it's time to add primary details, which is step number two. Primary detail is a process of adding essential features that define model's overall design. These details provide the structure and functionality, meaning making your model more believable. Think of primary detail as a major organ of your model. For example, consider modeling a mobile phone. Without essential details like side buttons, charging port, camera lens, it's just a non-functional rectangle. These primary details bring realism and believability. Similarly, a robot needs joints, panel and sensor. Without these parts, it's unrealistic. The same apply for car, bike and weapon. I could keep going, but you get the point. Primary detailing establishes the model's core design making it recognizable and functional. By incorporating primary detail, you'll transform your model from a basic shape into a convincing representation of a real thing. Step number 3. Secondary Detailing This is where you can really bring your model to life by adding features like cables, attachments and refining your overall design. However, keep in mind that too much detail can actually make your model look less attentive and interesting. It's all about finding that balance. Leaving some empty space in your model can actually make it look more real and grab attention. Here's a model without the secondary detailing and the right side with secondary detailing. Step number 4. Tertiary Detailing This is also known as a micro level detailing. The process of adding small intricate detail to a 3D model to enhance its realism and visual interest. Some common technique used in tertiary detailing includes adding screw and bolts, decals and labels, cuts and grooves panel lines and scenes. To achieve effective tertiary detailing, artists should reference the real world images. When it comes to a 3D model, we often focused on the big picture, getting overall shape, structure and proportion right. But what takes the model from good to great? The answer lies in tertiary detailing. Think of tertiary detailing as a seasoning that adds flavor to a dish. Just as a pinch of salt or a sprinkle of herbs can elevate the taste of a meal. Tertiary detailing adds depth, realism and visual interest to a 3D model. Just as too much seasoning can overpower a dish, too much detail can overwhelm a model. This is why balance is important. Know when to hold back and when to touch a more. So, I highly recommend to watch real life images before you model.